welcome to Dinopedia your dinosaurs channel. Something important to say is that, this animal was not a dinosaur, it was a small terrestrial crocodile from the upper Cretaceous period, and it lived side by side with dinosaurs. What is its name? The name Adamantinasuchus, was given to him because, his fossils were found in rock formations, called Adamantin formations, the Greek word, sushus, means crocodile. Navi is a tribute to researcher William Nava, coordinator of the Museum of Paleontology in Marilia. It was named by Pedro Enrique Nobra and Ismar de Sosa Carvalho at the year 2006. What was its size? Their bones, which were found, indicate that the species would measure approximately 50 centimeters in length and were probably already adult animals. This crocodile weighed around 10 kilograms and was about 50 to 60 centimeters long. The skull is small, only 60 millimeters long and around 30 millimeters high, but the elliptical orbits are very large, almost as long as the rostrum, which might suggest the animal was nocturnal. What did it look like? The morphology of the skull and pelvis bones, such as the elongated femur, indicate that Adamantina such as navi was typically terrestrial, with a high and short rostrum, nostrils located in the anterior region of the skull, large orbits and positioned on the sides of the skull, in addition to the dentition, short and specialized, with incisiform teeth projected forward, caniniform and molariform, very similar to mammals. The teeth are noticeably heterodont in adamantina such as, with a mixture of incisiform, caniniform, and molariform teeth. The first two teeth in the premaxilla are incisiform, they are small, pointed, and conical, and they bear small grooves. The third premaxillary tooth is caniniform, and is much larger than the incisiform teeth, though it is a similar conical shape. Its tip points slightly backwards, and the crown bears small grooves. All seven maxillary teeth are molariform, though they vary greatly in size, the first three and the last two, are much smaller than the two middle ones, only about half the size overall. All the maxillary teeth have one deep root, oval in cross section, and there is a slight constriction between this and the crown of the teeth, which are flattened obliquely to produce a spatulate shape. The outer surfaces of the maxillary teeth are smooth, and bear a few grooves, whereas the inner surfaces are covered in denti cles, that grow smaller towards the tip of each tooth. The two large central molariform teeth, have a second set of denti cles, around the base of the inner surface of each tooth. Only three teeth are preserved on the dentary, one of which, contacts a maxillary tooth's inner surface, with its outer surface. The denti cles on this tooth's outer surface, perfectly match up, with those of the inner surface of the maxillary tooth, forming a chisel contact surface, for grinding or cutting food. The forelimbs. The humeri are entirely missing from the holotype. The radius and ulna are present, but very poorly preserved, only the straight and cylindrical diaphysis of the radius is visible, and a small fraction of the ulna. This is, however, enough to show that it is bowed, typically for a crocodiliform. The radius's proximal extremity, is wider than its distal extremity, the ulna's proximal portion is also wide, about three times the thickness of the diaphysis. The metacarpals and some phalanges are also preserved, showing that both have expanded ends laterally, but that, outside of that, the phalanges are cylindrical. The hind limbs. The femora are both partially preserved, and each femur is quite robust, with an expanded head. The fourth trochanter, forms a rugose crest, stopping just before a slight torsion, in the diaphysis. The tibia is poorly preserved, but its diaphysis is straight and cylindrical. The fibula's diaphysis is oval in cross section, and expands towards a flattened distal end, its proximal end is missing. What did it eat? In view of the characteristics, observed in molariform teeth, which show marked wear. This wear gives the species an omnivorous eating habit, which could include insects, fish, small vertebrates, carcasses, and also vegetables, such as hard seeds. 
The animal could also dig the soil with its incisiform teeth, looking for food, as pigs do today. Adamantina suchus's teeth seem to be quite well adapted for an omnivorous diet, since they are heterodont, and have well-developed molariform teeth, it might, like Chimera suchus, have included plants in its diet. There is insufficient preservation of the quadrate, or the articular bones, to tell whether its jaw was capable, of back and forth movements, necessary for chewing plants, but the relative lack of wear, on its molariform teeth, suggests that it was probably, only capable of dorsoventral biting motions, not chewing, and that it mainly ate, softer food than plants. The teeth were also wider laterally, than anteroposteriorly, which might have made back and forth chewing motions, difficult or impossible, it is therefore probable that, Adamantina such as was mainly carnivorous, or a scavenger of small corpses, since the incisiform, and caniniform teeth, would have been useful for seizing its prey, or pulling strips of flesh, off a carcass, while the molariform teeth, could have chewed it up. Where did it live? He lived in Brazil, more precisely, in the interior of the state of Sao Paulo, in the region of the municipality of Marilia. Its fossils come from rocks, belonging to the Adamantin formation. When did it live? Adamantin such as was a small terrestrial crocodile, that lived approximately 90 million years ago, during the Upper Cretaceous period, between the Turonian and Santonian eras. How did it behave? The Brazilian territory at that time was quite different, not only geologically, but the climate was of an arid region, surrounded by mountains, with a temperature that could reach 60 degrees Celsius. In this climate, Adamantina such as had to be prepared to survive. Adamantina such as was a totally terrestrial reptile, with a short and tall skull, frontal nostrils typical of terrestrial vertebrates, long and thin legs, allowing good agility on the ground. This speed could be used both, for the reptile to hunt small prey, and to escape predators, such as other terrestrial crocodiles, and carnivorous dinosaurs. It is likely that these animals were omnivorous, spending a large part of their lives hunting small animals and insects, eating plants, and remains of carcasses, he also had skills to dig, this habit can have several reasons, such as looking for food, shelter, and cooling off from the heat. There is a possibility that he could also eat fish, this indicates that he could have fishing skills. For Adamantina such as another hypothesis was also stipulated, he would be an animal with nocturnal habits. When studying its fossil, it was observed that it had a large eyeball, indicating the presence of large eyes. How was it discovered? He was found by William Nava, coordinator of the Museum of Paleontology in Marilia. William Nava found his fossils during field work, carried out in the vicinity of the Rio du Pais, which cuts through the Marilia region. Several bones were found, some forming skeletons, others disjointed, and some skulls. It is known from only one fossil, the holotype UFRJDG107R, collected by William Nava. Additional Information The prevailing climate, during the Upper Cretaceous in the region, should be extremely hot and arid, and the landscape dotted with ephemeral ponds and rivers, an environment that gave life to these small animals, and also to the large herbivorous dinosaurs. Adamantina such as, lived side by side with Marilia such as, and several sauropods, these animals, populated the scenery and the environment of that region at the time. Adamantina such as was a fairly small Natosuchian crocodilomorph, from the late Cretaceous Adamantina formation of Brazil, many crurotarsans are known from the Adamantina formation, including Armadillo such as, Moranho such as, Bora such as and Marilia such as to name just a few. Out of these, Adamantina such as may have been most similar to Marilia such as. The teeth of Adamantina such as suggest, a possible carnivorous lifestyle, though, they could have been used, for a more specialized diet. Adamantina such as should not be confused, with the similarly named sauropod dinosaur, Adamantisaurus. What is not yet known about it? The premaxilla bears two incisiform teeth, and one caniniform tooth, 
this has led some to place it in the sphagisaurid group of crocodiliforms, since these also had differentiated teeth, although as the cladogram suggests this is disputed. There are disagreements about his scientific classification, some say his family is sphagisauridae and others say he is notosuchia. Its genus and clade also provokes debate. Reptile data. Name, Adamantinasuchus. Scientific name, Adamantinasuchus navi. Season, Cretaceous. Place where he lived, Brazil. Weight, about 10 kilograms. Size, 50 to 60 centimeters long. Food, omnivorous. Scientific classification. Kingdom, Animalia. Phylum, Chordata. Class, Reptilia. Clade, Xiphosuchia. Order, Crocodilomorpha. Family, Notosuchia. Genus, Adamantinasuchus. Species, Adamantinasuchus navi. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.